Well, each year at the conference, the governor inducts someone into the Ag Hall of Fame for the work they've done over a lifetime. And this year's winner is an 82-year-old cotton farmer from outside of Lawton. For Alta's farmer, Murray R. Williams, farming cotton has been in his blood since day one. I was born and raised on the farm. Son to W.W. Luck and Georgia Ann Williams, Murray obtained his lifelong love affair with agriculture from his parents who settled just east of Altus before statehood. We run a dairy and farmed 160 acres there. And uh, we still farm the farm. And it was obvious to see that he was dedicated to becoming a successful farmer. And of course, I've been, I've been on the farm all my life. And uh, that's all I've ever wanted to do. Shortly after finishing school in Altus, Murray went to farming his father's land in 1943 and quickly began looking to new methods that would make his crop better and more profitable, but at the expense of his father's apprehension. When we got irrigation, why well, he didn't want he didn't want any part of that irrigating, and of course it was a lot of work when we first got it, and then uh, we. We've increased it all the way, all the way through. Since buying his first place in 1956, Williams won several honors, such as Oklahoma Outstanding Young Farmer and Cotton Farmer of the Year. He also has served on different advisory boards for the National Cotton Council and was chairman of the National Cotton Board in 1980 through 81, a time when cotton needed a leader. All segments of the cotton industry was going different ways and were split. And uh, the biggest job that I had in those two years is to try to get them together, work together and, and everything. Uh, if it hadn't have been for the Cotton Incorporated and Cotton Board, we would have probably never had the bow wheel eradication. A pesky insect that at one time crippled the cotton industry in the state, but with this program along with new technologies, Cotton has seen an increase in popularity. Production of cotton has increased tremendously in the last mm, 10 years. And that's uh, all the uh, research work that's been done on seed and technology that they've got in the seed and Roundup Ready cotton seed and it's, it's, it's unbelievable. With over 60 years of involvement in agriculture, Williams now farms over 5,000 acres of cotton, 2,000 acres of wheat, and anywhere from 500 to 1,000 head of steers and boar goats. We're always looking for something different that would tie in with our operation, what we could do at different times of the year and everything. Like right now, we're having a lot of baby goats drop on the ground. Deeply committed to his wife, daughter, and two sons who help run the business, Williams is passing on the family tradition, and it's something his son, Ran, is proud to have. Well, it's, I guess you'd say it's like a legacy. My brother and I to carry on what my dad started over 60 years ago and what his dad started way before then. And the changes are made. Back then they farmed on 160 acres and made a living for a whole family, and now you farm six, 7,000 acres just to get by. And it's a legacy Rand says will not be easy to fill. He's, he's had a lot of honors and like I say, he's, he's spent a lot of his own time and money being on all these boards and helping agriculture, especially the cotton industry, not just locally or statewide, but on a national basis. The boards he served on, uh, I'm very proud of him. Uh, some big shoes to fill and I don't think they can be filled by anyone around here. Murray R. Williams, Governor's Agricultural Hall of Fame winner for 2006.